Escape is proud to be a part of where you live. October is Fire Safety Month, and when we think about keeping our families safe, we brought in the experts on the topic, Michael McLear, along with Jake, the fire safety dog. And Michael, let's talk about what families need to know right now. Right now, Miranda, we want to make sure we're focusing on families having working smoke alarms. Most of our fire fatalities that the newsroom's been reporting has been in homes that did not have working smoke alarms or didn't have smoke alarms at all. So it's important that families have those smoke alarms. We test them once a month, change the batteries once a year, and we make sure those smoke alarms are placed every 10 years. You know, how many smoke alarms should we have in like a, a regular, maybe three bedroom home? Is there a set number or is one good enough in the kitchen? Good question. We want to make sure smoke alarms are not in the kitchen because that's where we can see those nuisance alarms. So we want to make sure they're away from the kitchen, but we can use photoelectric at least um, away from the kitchen so they don't uh, cause those nuisance alarms. We also want to make sure smoke alarms are in each bedroom and outside each bedroom, especially for sleeping with the doors closed in the hallway, make sure they're on each level. So again, firefighters that are trained uh, can come out and help uh, citizens to be able to know exactly or they're a phone call away. We certainly can answer those calls on a non-emergency line. Okay, I love that. I didn't know I could call my local fire department and actually ask them about my smoke alarms and you guys are willing to help for free? Absolutely, absolutely. That's what we're there for. Many departments, including like the City of Grand Rapids Fire Department, actually comes out and they'll install smoke alarms and make sure that they're available all free of charge. Wow, that is quite a cool thing. Okay, you always talk about escape plans. Do we need to review those too this time of year? It's a good opportunity to review those home escape plans. We should have at least two ways out of any room. One way could be the door, second way out could be a window. And as we're going into the winter months, we need to make sure that those ways are easily accessible. So if we have a doorway that's blocked by snow, an outside doorway, we need to make sure that we keep that path clear, have a meeting place outside. It could be a tree, a neighbor's house, or even a sidewalk at some place outside away from the home. Everyone in the family will go and await the fire department's arrival. Well, one thing that I've learned from you and your team is that that, that simple phrase, get out and stay out. We need to keep telling our kids that, don't we? Absolutely. And the more we practice, Miranda, the more we model with families as a family, the easier it's going to be when the smoke alarm sounds and when we wake up to smoke or fire conditions, the family will be able to get out and stay out and go to the meeting place. Everyone will stay safe. Great message. You know, we've got a list of all kinds of fire safety activities happening around West Michigan where you and your family can go to learn more. Head to our website, wotvforwomen.com. Pine Rest Christian Services is proud to be a part of where you live.